the best controller in the industry just got better. Through improved design, ECU monitoring, and the latest fuel monitoring functionality, Thermoking can easily monitor and control fuel usage within your operating parameters. The SR4 controls an efficient transport refrigeration unit that gives you the highest return on your investment. The SR4 controller, only from Thermoking. Let's get to know the SR4 in more detail so you can take full advantage of the features this controller has to offer. Before turning anything on, you'll want to verify that this is the correct trailer and inspect for any physical damage. Make sure that the box insulation and door seals have good integrity. Make sure that there are no gaps or tears in the seals or the trailer wall. All floor drain hoses and flapper valves must be clear and functional. Check the front bulkhead, floor channels, and the air chute if you have a single temp unit for airflow restrictions. For those with multi-temp units, there are a few additional inspection procedures. Check remote evaporators for any physical damage. Look for damaged, loose, or missing hardware. Examine for evaporator coil cleanliness and good airflow. Inspect defrost drain hoses and flapper valves. Check compartment bulkheads. To pre-cool the unit, you'll need to run the unit in cool to remove residual trailer body heat. You must confirm the cargo is at the desired temperature before loading because refrigeration units are designed to maintain cargo temperature and not change it. If you're unclear about any of the inspections, refer to your driver's operation manual. After you've completed the trailer inspection, you'll want to make sure your diesel tank is at least one quarter full. If you're low on fuel, contact your supervisor and have it filled. It's time to get the SR4 going. For demonstration purposes, we will be showing all of the close-up programming functions in a laboratory setting on our simulator. All functions and responses are identical to the actual SR4 unit. Turning on the SR4 is an easy process. First, press the ON key. The ON key must be pressed for at least a half second to initiate startup. You'll see the Thermoking logo briefly, followed by the Configuring System Please Wait screen. We will cover the following. The standard display screen, buttons, navigation, setting temperature, and alarms. There are four hard keys, each with a single function, on, off, mode, and manual defrost. However, the power behind the SR4 lies in the soft keys. This is where you really make a difference in controlling your load. Menu is the most important key. From here, you'll be able to navigate deep into the system. The other soft keys include scrolling features, exit, and clear. Using the menu soft key, locate pre-trip and then press select. Please note that with most alarms, pre-trip will not work until the alarms are resolved or cleared from the system. Do not ignore the alarms. They were generated for a reason. Contact your Thermoking dealer if you can't resolve an alarm. Once all alarms are resolved, go back to Menu, Locate Pre-Trip, and press Select to start. If the unit isn't running, a full pre-trip will be initiated. If the unit is running in either diesel or electric mode, a running pre-trip will be performed. The results are either pass, check, or fail. If it's check or fail, the accompanying alarm codes will direct you to the problem. You select the set point from the home screen, which is the leftmost soft key. The plus and minus buttons are used to reach the desired temperature. Push either yes or no to confirm your setting. If you do not confirm, an alarm will tell you the set point has not been changed. 
This is a common mistake. You will have to go to alarms to clear it out. When you change the temperature and select Yes, the confirmation screen pops up reading Programming Set Point. The next screen appearing will be the standard display with a new set point. Once the set point is accepted, reinspect the unit four hours after it started to verify set point has been reached. If not, run a manual defrost, which will be explained later in this section. It's also a good idea to reinspect the unit every eight hours or shift change. The default is continuous mode, which does not have a separate indicator. If you press the mode hard key, you can change the mode from continuous to cycle sentry or vice versa, depending on the mode you start in. When you do so, the programming continuous mode or programming cycle sentry mode screen appears. If you're unfamiliar with either of these functions, please be sure to consult your manual before starting operation. After making your choice, either the new system mode is continuous or the new system mode is cycle sentry screen appears depending on your selection. The standard display screen appears and the heading on top of the screen displays the new mode. Press the hard key again to switch back to the previous mode if you so choose. To determine how long the engine has run, along with other data, select Menu, then Hour Meters. Hour Meters are useful for preventative maintenance. Maintenance intervals can be customized as needed by your company fleet. The screen that pops up reads Total Engine Run Hours, which sums the number of hours the unit has run. Next will take you to different screens if needed. Exit when you're done. Your Thermoking unit will defrost automatically, but if you need to defrost, here's the hard key for manual defrost. Simply press the manual defrost key and programming defrost please wait will appear. The status bar screen will appear showing a status bar indicating the time remaining to completion. When complete, the SR4 returns to the standard display screen. An alarm can occur whenever there is a problem in the system or a setting is out of parameter. When there is an alarm, you'll see this icon. A check alarm will not need to be resolved in order to proceed, but be sure to report check alarms at the end of the day. However, be aware that a check alarm can turn into a shutdown alarm. A shutdown alarm is a critical issue. The system will protect itself and not allow the system to operate until resolved. This alarm will be flashing and require immediate attention. The cause of the alarm needs to be addressed. If it is not, the alarm may reoccur. If routine maintenance is needed, a maintenance alarm will pop up and hold for 30 seconds and then disappear. You'll need to call it in and have it attended to. Be sure to advise your company of any major alarms. Let's take a closer look at alarms. Your operator manual and driver training card have the entire list of alarms and their meanings for easy reference. Begin by selecting Menu and then Alarms. Here you'll be able to find any present alarm codes and what they mean. You can go to the Help menu for more information. If the unit is equipped with a fuel level sensor which is connected to the SR4 controller, the system will monitor and alert you to fuel conditions. The low fuel alarm is triggered when the tank is at 15% capacity. At the time of this alarm, you may want to consider filling your tank. If your tank is out of fuel, please contact your dealer, as repriming is required. All of the alarms are organized from most to least recent, and you can scroll through them here. If you can resolve the issue on your own, you can clear it out by pressing the Clear key. You'll see a screen that says, Clearing Alarms, Please Wait. The alarm menu follows that, then you can exit. If you need assistance, call your Thermoking dealer or dispatcher and share with them the visual alarm codes. Visit Thermoking's website to locate your nearest dealer.
Let's begin by looking at temperature sensors and how they work with the SR4. The sensors are taking constant measurements of various critical locations within your trailer. These readings are used to verify that the load is being transported at the proper set point. Select sensors from the standard display, which is the third soft key, or go through the menu. Press the back or next keys to scroll through sensor screens to find what you want. There are multiple sensor screens, including Control Return Air Temperature Display Return Air Temperature Control Discharge Air Temperature Display Discharge Air Temperature Temperature Differential, which is the difference between return and discharge temperatures and is useful in determining how well the product is cooling, or TD, Evaporator Coil Temperature and Ambient Air Temperature. If you want to monitor any of these screens for a longer time, press the lock key. Press the key again to unlock the screen. When you're done, press exit. The single temp units have two return air sensors and two discharge sensors called display and control. Multi temp units have one return and one discharge air sensor for each zone. While sensors look at your cargo temperature conditions, gauges focus on the rest of the system, primarily the engine. Select gauges from the standard display using the second soft key, or go through menu. Use the back and next keys to scroll through gauge options, such as battery voltage and amps. Other screens of interest, primarily for technicians, include refrigerant pressure and ETV position which is on every precedent. If no key is pressed within 30 seconds, the SR4 will revert to the home screen. Similar to sensors, you can press the lock key to display any gauge screen for an indefinite period. Press the key again to unlock the screen. When you're done, press exit. The fuel efficiency monitoring capability of the SR4 is a Thermoking exclusive feature. There's more to it than just checking fuel level. It also helps you control consumption and make smarter decisions to save money. To begin, select Menu, then scroll down using the Down key, and select Fuel Usage. You'll have a number of options and the ability to track fuel use on three different trips, plus overall fuel usage. The first screen shows instantaneous fuel rate measured in gallons per hour and is a quick reference point for you. It updates every second, so it's always current, and your techs will make great use of it. The next and back arrows will help you to different programmable options in the fuel usage menu. When you press Next, you will see Trip A Fuel Used in Gallons, which is the big picture of fuel use on that particular trip. You have the option to reset it here. When you reset it before and after a trip, the SR4 logs the fuel usage on that trip. If you reset any trip parameter, all will reset. You can break that down with Trip A fuel used per temperature control hour in gallons per hour and an option to reset. The other breakout is Trip A fuel used per engine run hour. This also has a reset option. These three steps repeat for trip B and C. Whenever trips are reset, the information is logged to the Service Watch data logger. Next, you can see lifetime fuel used in gallons, and finally, lifetime fuel used in temperature control. Your SR4 control system with USB makes it easier and faster than ever to get the data you need to meet the food safety requirements of your customers. The data logger is a simple, standard, built-in feature to verify in-transit cargo temperatures and other metrics for the entire length of a trip. This gives your customers peace of mind by verifying your careful handling of the cargo. There are two types of optional data logger, the cargo watch, and the service watch. The data logger records all sensors and gauges for diagnostic and temperature reporting purposes. 
It also documents key events that happened and records all alarm activities. To use it, select Menu and then scroll using the Down button to select Data Logger. The options you'll see on screen are Start Trip and Print View. Use the up and down keys to scroll. Select Start Trip, then Start of Trip to log the start of your trip. Select Print View to print or view the data. While the data logger gave you important information, the USB connection can also be the flash drive connection to download or upload information. Key benefits of a flash drive include portability, fast response, and low cost. A flash drive gives service technicians the opportunity to upload all data at once. To begin with a flash drive, insert it into the USB port. A menu comes up that says Flash Drive Detected and gives you the following options. Download, Flash Load, and Optiset Plus. You may or may not see this depending on your software. We're here to help you. You can go online to find the SR4 simulator to practice on. Visit the web address on your screen. Scroll to the bottom and on the right click on SR4 Simulator. Your SR4 Operator's Manual has all of the detail you need for reference, and you can contact your local dealer for more information.